Today on the Toppy Show, Vivek goes viral when he goes on Alex Jones' Infowars, Disney to delay and reshoot Snow White, Bud Light bribery continues with their sweepstakes, Mike Johnson is the new House Speaker and goes viral in an interview, Chipotle to pass on the cost of the increase of California minimum wage to customers, Michelin is closing their Oklahoma plant and laying off 1,400 employees, the new Chevy Camaro will be a two-door EV SUV, and Ford lost $37,000 per EV sold, which helped contribute to their stock dropping 12% in a single day. All that and much much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice a day. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or a business owner, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November. So if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Now going over to the business part of the podcast, you have a Chipotle to pass on the California minimum wage increase to the cost to the consumer and bill. Now this is starting in April, 2024. California thought and their infinite wisdom to increase the maybe exodus of businesses leaving the states perhaps. Well, they thought, well, we're going to increase the minimum wage yet again. Now, so in April of 2024, fast food workers employed at quick serve restaurants that have 60 locations or more in California will be eligible for a minimum wage of $20 per hour. That's up from $15.50 per hour. Now, Chipotle, the jump will be a little less jarring, they, they say, considering it already pays about $17 per hour as a starting minimum wage in the state. And around 15% of Chipotle's 33,300 stores are located in California. Now, they claim that the minimum wage will increase will add between 2.5 and 3% to the customer's overall labor cost, or rather the company's overall labor cost. And while Chipotle hasn't disclosed, it, disclosed the exact level of pricing that they're going to have to increase it, they have said that they cannot absorb it all. Specifically, the CFO, the Chief Senate Panel Officer, says, quote, for consumers, it's going to be mid to high single digit price increase, but we are definitely going to pass this on, unquote. Now, who would have thought increasing the minimum wage would exponentially, that, that would cost to be passed down to the consumer? Ah yes, anyone with a modicum of business intelligence, or any intelligence for that matter, I know that many of those things are vacuous in most parts of California, but again, you're gonna see more and more businesses just struggling to make ends meet, and more of them are just going to, they'll get to a certain price point where they just choose to leave the state. We're seeing this already with most businesses moving their headquarters out of California, especially in the, even in the tech industry, which for decades have been dedicated to Silicon Valley and San Francisco. Even they are moving. So if you ask me, the time is just ticking, so to say. But again, there's nothing, many people, including myself, say there's nothing more morally vacuous and disgusting than the government saying, if you don't have a particular skill set, well, we're going to take away the ability to provide for yourself and your family, which many economists will actually argue that's what minimum wage does. If you have the minimum wage up here, but the current skill set you have when you're starting a career or you're going into a different career, that skill set is down here. Well, then you can't, the company can't hire you. They'd be bleeding money and losing money on that hire for many, a vast, great amount of time. It wouldn't make any fiscal sense. Yeah, alone when you hire any new employee, you are losing money for a brief period of time when you're, or depending on what the salary is, what the kind of the job is, or what the ROI is. There's a big cost to training employees, onboarding them. So it'll be interesting to see what that end result is for the consumer. And at what point do consumers say, I'm not going to spend, I don't know what the bill is at Chipotle these days, what, 20, 30, 50, 70 bucks for a burrito or whatever they charge these days. At what price point do the consumers finally say, you know what? I'm just going to eat at home. I'm going to just take a little a modicum of effort and just make my own food at home, which is usually vastly cheaper and healthier for you. Or maybe they'll go to a competitor or realistically, maybe they'll just leave the state of California as many people have been doing, especially the past 48 months as they go to other states that are much more business friendly and don't have income taxes as well. So it'd be interesting to see. Let me know, is there a certain price point? When would you stop buying burritos? Or when you, would you stop buying fast food. I say fast food because that's pretty all-encompassing. Depending on how you ask, you'll get 12 different answers for what they consider fast food. But 
at what price point do people just say, you know what, we can't afford to do this. This has gone from a convenience to a luxury, which I would argue the whole thing is also a luxury in and of itself because you don't really need fast food to begin with. But nevertheless, let me know in the comments. At what price point would you say, I'm not buying Chipotle anymore? It'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November, so if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, the feedback is greatly appreciated. If you can put some comments in the videos, that's how I know how to make the production better and better. And it's how I know I do need to work on decreasing my rate of speech so it's a little bit easier to understand and how I need to work on that stuttering to make the show better and better and better. Also, liking the video may help it with the algorithm. That kind of switches it up. It's kind of mystery magic. So that might help the videos get more views and might increase the rate at which we can invest in this as well. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight.